Hi. Today, I would like to talk about the problem of space required for a complete installation of logic and how to solve it with a very practical method which, allow, which allows us to save more space than the official relocate way. Because Logic Pro requires 6 GB of available storage space for minimum installation, but more than 70 GB of storage space for the full sound library installation. The problem is that we don't always have all these 3 GB giga, 3 giga available in our Mac and we would like to use external hard disk and maybe more than one hard disk. We can relocate uh, Logic Sound Library to an external live uh, in the official way. The official way is, is like that. We go to Logic Pro, Sound Library, relocate Sound Library. As you can see here, I don't have available download essential sound and all available sound because I got already installed installed everything and I can see it also in the my open sound library manager everything is installed in here means that if I go into my Macintosh HD library application support logic I will see all the logic folders in here with the with many gigabyte and if I go to Macintosh HD library audio Apple loops I will have my Apple loops folder with plenty of gigabyte of my um, library so if I want to relocate first of all I need to format the external drive in APFS or macOS external extended journaled. I can do it directly from my application utilities. I can go to disk utility and partition directly here in AP create a um, a volume for example a new volume in APFS here I create two volume one called Ferrari and one called Mercedes and I can found them in here and I can go down to sound library locate and choose in which hard disk I want to relocate I will not do this now because when we relocate we will have a, a, a small problem because only the sound library containing all the sounds for the software instrument is moved. Apple loops for example or impulse responses are not moved. So today I will, I will show you also how to move Apple loops and also third-party content if you want into an, an official way but very very um, useful uh, one one point uh, if you will use the relocate don't rename the external drive after you've moved your library if you do logic pro or main stage you won't be able to find the sound library and also if you want to move the sound library back to your Mac after you've moved the sound library to an external drive you might want to move it back to your Mac choosing Logic Pro Sound Library relocate sound library and choose back your Macintosh HD folder so in order to move also Apple loops or moving my my logic folder somewhere else for example let's make uh, alchem alchemy, alchemy sample I can create uh, an alias right click make alias and then I will drag it and move it whenever I want now I got Alchemy Samples alias. Be aware that if I keep 
alchemy, alchemy samples alias, al, an alias is something related, a connection with my, with my original folder. Is a is a, is just a, a link. If I keep this name, Alchemy Samples alias, if I open Logic, Logic will not recognize the alias, and so it will ask me to download a sensor sound. I will tell him to download later, and I will not have in my Logic alchem Alchemy Samples samples. So L alchemy will be completely empty. Nothing here working. I have to download it. But if I use a different day name and I remove alias name, the alias will still work. So we'll move me to this folder i open logic and logic now will not ask me to download nothing and if i open alchemy mm, is in there for sure yes it's in there. No, it just uh, is is confused a little bit. But if I reopen Logic, everything will be in there, and uh, it's working also with uh, Apple Loops. For example, I go to Macintosh HD library, audio, Apple Loops, Apple. I create an alias. I move this outside. Now I'm moving just in my desktop, but I can move it in my external hard disk, like Ferrari or Mercedes. And uh, with Apple alias in here, Logic will not recognize Apple Loop like before. So if I go into a new project, you will see that my Apple loops are in there, not available. I have to download them. But if I remove the alias name, and for example, those Apple loops are into an external disk, and the disk should be connected, of course, then I create a new project audio and logic recognize my apple loops so this is very comfortable because i can use also for example i go in here i go access factory samples or i i go back to my alchemy samples i put back them all of them back and maybe I just want to move the bus, or let me check something, the synth, analog synth. I create an alias, the synth will be moved to Ferrari. Five seconds. Okay. Now I remove alias name, just enter. I open logic. Complete mode, download later. Mm -hmm. 
and synth will be for sure in here. So I have, I can use this method to move my my Macintosh my logic library and the partial content of the world, also of my logic library into multiple hard disk thank you for watching um, have a nice weekend bye